I need to put another electrical socket in the wall up there so I can mount a telly on the wall. That means I've got to chop a back box into the wall and also run a chase for wires. So this is how I do it. Remember, I'm not an electrician. So I've roughly marked where I want the socket to go. So I need to draw a level line. Then all I do is draw around the box. Leaving a little bit of space around the edges of four or five mil. That's what I'm going to cut out. Now wires for a socket need to go straight up or straight down or straight across. But I'm going to bring them down from the ceiling. So I need a chase from the clothing down to where the box is going. I like to do. I look at where the knockout holes are in the box. Offer it up and decide which one I want to go for. That one. And then I just pull my line up. Like that. Let's cut out the chase in the back box. I'm going to use an angle grinder. And to knock out the debris, I'm going to use an SDS. Bit of chisel. Now these kick out a lot of dust and debris, so it's recommended to wear eye protection and also a dust mask. Safety first. Now it's good. Not very pretty and it's dusty dirty work but it's going to get plastered in anyway so it doesn't matter how rough it is. It helps if you plug the drill in. Right, so that's the plaster off. It's still not deep enough. Box is still sticking out. So now I need to chop a bit of the brick away.
a little bit of plasters fell out from around there. But I'm replastering all this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now we just gotta put a couple of screws in it. Don't forget to put your grommet in. As you can see, it's dirty, dusty, noisy work. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's five past eleven. And all I can say is, good job I haven't got any neighbours, otherwise they'd be knocking on the door, telling me to be quiet. Right, so now that we've got the wall chased out, to get the wire behind the coven, I'm going to use a 12mm a thousand millimetre masonry bit. There's enough flex in it to be able to just curve up behind there without damaging the coven. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.